Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, my lovely wife Kara's playing her video games, and today we are going to open up my knife roll and check out what is in there. In my pocket was, or is, the TRM Atom that is getting ridiculously smooth. I'm loving this thing. Brought it to work with me today, among with the... Uh, the knife I just did the review on that I posted. But I want to show a couple other things also that just came in. So I picked up a strop and it came with this yellow compound. Here is the strop. It really didn't cost that much and I kind of see why. I got it from Blade HQ. It's this flex cut. Um, but I just realized it says for carving knives. I don't know. Um, I don't know about this compound. I'm curious if any of you know about the yellow compound, if it's any good or not. Otherwise, I'm going to put my, my compound on here. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put my diamond compound on here. That's what I was planning on doing. This is a very firm leather, though. I'm used to a little bit softer of a leather. Now, don't get me wrong. I do have a couple pieces, or not a couple, a few pieces of leather that are literally just like this that I love. But I'm just curious if any of you have ever tried this strop and if you like it or the compound. Um, I'm still kind of on the fence of what I'm going to put on there. I'll possibly just order another one. And so, you know, whatever. Or some extra leather, put it on the other side. I also ordered some real steel whetstones. These are supposed to be some Japanese whetstones or something like that. I know... They are for a fixed angled system, but I have no problem putting these stones in my clamps and just freehanding on them. No problem at all. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have tried them. They're literally only a few dollars a piece, but I figured I'd give them a shot since I'm trying to do so many different sharpening uh, videos and content, but... But I don't know about them. I don't know how good they are or anything. I'm literally just opening them up right here on camera. They feel like aluminum oxide. I mean, that's what they are. You can tell. But they're supposedly real steel. I don't see them saying real steel on them anywhere. But that's where they came from. And that's what they said. This one's the 400, 800, and the 240. So we'll be testing these out. I'll give you guys some updates on them. Maybe possibly give them away to some of you guys if one of you guys got a system that will hold it. I don't know. Also, I got the belts in for the regrind. So I'm going to set up the, the attachment. What the hell? I hope this fits because I'm looking at this thing now. I'm hoping it fits my, uh, oh yeah, okay. All right, so um, I'm going to do some regrinds and see. That's why I got this low, low grit. I'm going to practice some regrinds and film it and let you guys know, or we'll see how this thing works on doing regrinds. Now, I did do a, a small regrind with it already, but I didn't want to burn out my belts. So I just showed that it could do it, but now having these belts, I can absolutely do some regrinds and we can thin out some blades. Ooh. So that'll be awesome. We'll thin out some blades and hopefully that, uh, we can make some badass knives, right? Um, or at least make a knife more badass. So let's get into the knife roll. Now, if you are interested in picking up one of these knife rolls, we link them in the description always. It's a Carhartt knife roll. Now, I don't keep the same knives in here. I switch them around all the time. Literally every day I swap the knives from in here. Sometimes I have knives out. Sometimes I have knives on the table. Sometimes I have three pouches. So this is always getting switched up. We'll start with the the beginning okay so right here we have the kaiser yorkie with a stasified anno finish very beautiful small little knife ray laconico design very cool very snappy the anno work on this thing from stasa just holds so good i mean there's like no scratches in it it looks really good Next up, we have the Giant Mouse Ace Biblio. Also, if you guys don't know, we just won a giveaway for an Ace Biblio. A, a, a Burgundy Micarta 
Ace Biblio. Brand new. It's supposedly like a really good one. Like the action's really good. Everything's phenomenal on it. Supposedly, we're waiting for it to come now. Then we're going to give it to one of the patron members. This month, we're giving away the Hoag Ritter RSKMK1. So if you're not a patron yet, you should be. And thank you to all the patrons for making so many things possible. Um, but this Biblio has a flipper delete. The new one will have the flipper tab. So we're just waiting for that. But yes, thank you to the patron members. We really, really appreciate everything you guys do for us. Thank you for all the donations and really keeping us afloat. Next up, the Real Steel Metamorph. This is not actually even ours anymore. This is uh, already given away. Somebody won it in one of our lives. I'm waiting to send it out because mail, if you guys don't know, is absolutely crazy. But I think they got it worked out. So hopefully in eh, probably the beginning of next week, I'll send it out. Because it seems like they're starting to get back on track. Next up, the Wee Kite Fin. Super thin behind the edge. This thing is just an absolute razor. I have a review on most of these knives. And I want to say that we actually have some um, really cool videos coming up soon. Very awesome knife, that one. We have some really cool videos coming up soon, some of our own content, some of other people's content, and yeah, so watch for all the new videos coming out. This is the Drop Terzola knife. Now, I did a sharpening thing to this, so what I did was, this is a very tiny edge bevel on this side, and then, bam, I'm testing this guy out, I'm using it about uh, a couple times a week. Um, and seeing really how it's, it's, if it's going to perform with this type of grind on it. And so far, I'm pretty impressed with the way it cuts like this. Um, you know, it's just testing different st types of edges out and different types of finishes. Yeah. Um, so stay, uh, you know, stay watching to hear the, you know, how that's going to do. All right. Next up we have... Come on, you're stuck in there. There we go. Ooh, the Hinder 3-inch flip, non-flipper. So it's just thumb studs. I'll tell you what, man. This thing's detent is so snappy. I love doing a reverse flick on this. Now, this is the color. Got something on there. This is the color of the new... Um, giant mouse that's coming in it's basically like this color so if you want a chance to win that that will be going to the patrons but you got to be a patron to have a chance to win it man that thing is so snappy love this little knife the hinder xm18 triway pivot three inch next up we have the techno two very cool knife this guy is a little tank Gotta love this knife. I love middle finger flicking it from the left hand. There's a couple knives that are really cool like that. Even the, um, what I was carrying today. Oh, it's a spider coat. Techno 2. Um, this knife, the, the, um, the TRM Adam. I love mid middle finger flicking this knife with my left hand. It's just so snappy. Man, that thing is really getting some mood. All right, next up we have, oh, shit, I should have put this guy in a bigger pocket. This guy always gives me, oh, no, never mind. Yeah, I got to put this guy in a bigger pocket. This thing tends to catch in these little pockets. This is, I just got this back. This is the Buck Marksman. Love this knife, man. I love this knife for a couple reasons. One, it's very fidgety, especially once you get it down. But besides that, I mean, it's obviously, see, it's just free swinging. But besides that, I love this blade shape. That is such a good blade shape. Nice and thin behind the edge. Hollow grind. The ergos are very neutral, which I like. I know this strap looks like it'd be uncomfortable, but it's really not. You really don't feel it. And you put pressure on that strap, which really locks this thing in, even though it's already locked up really good. Very, very sharp, 154 CM and aluminum. Uh, I'm going to switch that to a different pocket. Next up, 
the React K2. This one I'm gonna need to put an edge on soon. Um, I mean, it's still sharp. I could probably strop it. We'll see how it goes, but I might have to put an edge on this one soon. Love this knife. Ergos are amazing. Just a badass Japanese Tonto. You see that secondary tip right there. It cuts so good. It's so straightforward and you can just whew. And since it's got such a thin hollow right here, when you use this secondary tip on this Japanese Tonto, it like goes, it just like goes right in the material. And then the material follows right here and like spreads around this flat grind up here because it's a little thicker up here. So bad ass. Next up, another one I just recently got back. The Civivi Picaro, one of my favorite Civivis. I love this knife. Now this isn't, like I really like um, Civivis because their action is so good. This isn't that kind of knife. This is more of a, I mean you see me fidgeting with it. So it is fidgety I guess. But it is on washers. It's on um Foster Bronze washer, so it's not drop shutty or anything like that. It's more of a slow roll type. Um, but as you, that was my fault. As you can see, though, you can get very fidgety with it, and it's pretty smooth actually, especially once you really get fidgeting with it and flicking it. Very very cool. Love this knife, and it's so thin. This thing just is a laser. Love it. This one right here. Next up, I just recently did a video on this one. This is, let me wipe off the blade, it's a little dirty. This is the Artisan um, Centura. Very, very cool. Ray Laconic, another Ray Laconico design. Front flipper, I like to middle finger flick it. We got carbon fiber, titanium, and S35VN. Very smooth. I mean, this thing is super smooth. Awesome. This is the big one, too. They do make a small version of this, which is a lot smaller. It's like the size of a, a mini uh, Feldspar. Ooh, ooh, don't be peeking. Next up. Ooh, the Yo Jumbo! Just got this guy back too. Yeah, this guy's a beast. Uh, I thought about, I know I'm just showing knives inside the case, but I'm gonna pull one other knife out really quick because I thought about doing, where is it? I thought it was right here. Okay, well I thought about doing a comparison video between this and the, um, the Manix, here it is. The Manix XL. What do you guys think? I mean, they are pretty, they're bang, right on the money in length. Blade length is the exact same. I and mean, you get a little bit more cutting edge on the Yojumbo, but the same length. I mean, this might be a bad ass, like, dual. I know they're two different knives. One's a Warren Cliff, one's more of a leaf shaped drop point, but they're both just beasts. Love this knife, man. We're not showing the Manix 2 because you weren't in the video, Manix. This is a great example of a Yo Jumbo. Also, I need to sharpen this one soon, too. Look at this. Got a little nicky nick on the tippity tip. We'll get it out, though. It still has a fresh factory edge. So, next up, Svevi McKenna. Little snappy little guy. This is one of the best little front flippers. Um, there are, you know, front flippers, they vary. Some front flippers are great, but these little G10 ones, I mean, you have something to really grip onto. It just fidgets so good. Or like my Carta, um, front flippers, but like the size counts and the grip counts. This has a little bit of something on the blade, but yeah, I need to get that cleaned off. Yeah, I'm going to put this to the side so I can clean the blade off. Next up. Oh, my baby. Ooh, that was my fault. Hit my hit my pointer finger. This is 
the Spyderco Gale Bradley 2 in the M4. I am going to wipe this blade off because I always try to make sure I keep this blade nice and clean being M4. It has a huge chance of showing some patina. Mine still looks gorgeous. Look at that, man, that hollow grind with that belt satin. You gotta love that, man. Oh, I love this knife. I try to keep it nice and oiled. I did mod it so you can get to this lock bar easier. Everybody else's has, uh, unless if they did the mod, has trouble getting to their lock bars. Not me. Not me. All right, next up. This is the Kubi Anteater S35 and Titanium. This thing is kind of a little beast. The only thing is this little hook right here. I am smashed right there. It would be better if this hook wasn't there. I thought about removing the hook, but technically this is Kara's and it is very snappy. The detent is super crisp. You can just hear that detent. Clip works good. The colors are beautiful. It is a hawk bill that needs some, a little tuning up. I need to tune this baby up soon. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Next up, ooh, the Kaiser Sheepdog in Micarta. This green Micarta is starting to show a lot of uh, patina. I have washed it once because it did get really dark. This stuff gets dark really quick. Now, I like the patina, too, but I also like it clean sometimes, and it, I, I think I was working, and I just really got it dirty, but this knife, super fidgety, or just fun, I guess. Um, The little one's a little more fidgety, but these things are just fun, and I gotta say, these things cut. Break down cardboard with one of these, and you'll see what I'm talking about. The, the grip in the Ergos just works, and it's so good at repeated cuts. So just cutting through cardboard and doing utility cuts. This is a lot more than just a novel. Like the little one I always thought of as a novel, but then I started using it, and I realized how useful the blade shape and how slicey it is. Next up, oh, the big dog. Tinder XM24. Man. This is a big dog. I love it. The ergos on these XM24s are just, you feel like you have a fixed blade in your hand. Not only that, man, it's just, it's a beast of a knife. I love this knife. It's not just big, it's heavy. It's just a brute. And it's so comfortable in the hand. And then they still have this big choil. I love it. Look at how drop shutty that thing is. And this one has a perfect detent for the size blade it is. I could fit it with this one pretty much all day. And it just kicks. Love it. All right. We got a couple more. So we got, ooh, the Spider Coast Shaman with the red micarta scales. Black coating, this thing's been used a lot, but it's still doing really good, running strong. The coating's still looking good on it. Very fidgety, nice and centered. Am I rubbing? Why did it feel like it was rubbing? What's going on? Oh, I got, hold on a second. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go and adjust this knife. It's, uh, give me a... A little bit of play. I don't know. Normally it's pretty good. I tried messing with the the pivot and I just can't seem to get that play out without making the thing not fidgety, which has never happened before. So maybe I just need to take it apart and adjust it a little bit. It's kind of acting a little weird right now. It's never done that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let me know if you guys ever ran into that issue. Yeah, it's weird. Huh. But that's the Spider Coast Shaman in red micarta scales, black coating, bad assery. What is this? Oh, we got the little Spider Coast Chaparral. Super slicey, CTS XHP. Um, 
different hardware. It has the blue titanium hardware. That's my fault. Because this can, if you, when you fidget with it, you just want to make sure you put the tension this way. So you push your thumb literally this way. And then it'll snap it up. And then when your middle finger flick it, do the same thing you want to like, or the middle finger you want to bring it straight up. But you gotta like have the right amount of tension and it'll snap. But this is more of a slow roller and it's super slicey. Love the way the clip is. Just a badass little knife. Last but not least. Woo! This is the Microtech SOCOM Elite. I actually did the review on this and I had to delete it. Because after doing the review, I had another video I was trying to post and it just would not go up with this video in my file. So I had to delete it and now I'm going to have to redo it. Love this knife. Man, what a beast of a knife. Not even just a beast, just a tough knife. This knife, you can literally take all the screws out and it'll still be centered and have good action. That's crazy. Name another knife that'll do that. Name another knife you could take all the body screws and everything out of and it'll still be centered. <laughs> Badass knife. This one's from 2019 in 204P. I am going to have to put an edge on this one pretty soon, too. I mean, it's still okay. But, man, I just, I guess I'm getting a little crazy with that. Just getting a little crazy, guys. I might need, uh, I might need to make, I don't know, phone call or something. Admit I have a problem. I don't know. All right. I love you guys. There you guys go. That's what's in my case today. Tomorrow, it will be very different. It's always different. I actually have one more thing in here. <clears throat> a little Spartan Victorinox, very cool. But um, but I do I need to start working on these pockets because if you look over here, there's these pockets up here. There's three pockets. I need to start filling these things with stuff. Um, but I'm going to maybe a uh, an Olight or something. We'll figure it out. But this pack, though, or this knife pack is badass. I love this pack. This thing is so durable. And look, all your knives are separated. They don't hit each other. You see that? How they're all touching just the fabric. I've never scratched a clip on this thing. They've always worked out good. And then you buckle it up right here. And bam, and it's nice. I mean, this thing is awesome. I love this pack. I definitely should get one more of these because I have a couple other packs that I, they're okay, but I don't really like them. But I don't know. I love you guys. Peace.